I am a videographer, a YouTuber, a live streamer. I stream my own content and sometimes for clients. I stream with multiple cameras to capture multiple angles. I stream mostly to Facebook but wish I could stream to YouTube at the same time without paying extra. To make it work, I will need a camera switcher, a computer to run my streaming encoder and presentation slides, an external monitor to see my live stream, and a recorder to record everything. That means I'm literally stuck in a single location. So an inventor came up with one portable device to do everything that I just mentioned. The Yolo Box is a portable live stream studio. It is a multi-camera switcher that allows you to switch up to five video sources. It is also a touchscreen monitor, a recorder, a streaming encoder that lets you stream up to three different platforms simultaneously. Let's open it right now. This is a brand new box, still vacuum sealed. Before we break the plastic, let's take a look at what's outside the box. First of all, we see the product name and description. Below, there is a CES Innovation Award sticker. The manufacturer, YOLO Live. Then we see a picture of the YOLO box fixed on top of a camera. That means you can stream live with just one camera because the YOLO box is battery operated and can be connected to the internet via 4G mobile data network. On the top and bottom, we see its name again. On the right hand side, it sums up what it does. On the left hand side are the key features which we'll explore shortly. And at the back are the specs which I'll put in the description below. It's time to break the seal. The first thing I see is what I prefer to call a tablet. All right, what else do we have in the box? User manual. There is something behind the user manual. Let's take a look. Whoops, a SIM card ejector. Now let's lift up one layer of the box. Ooh, what do we have? There is a USB to USB-C cable, a power adapter, a storage bag, a hot shoe mount, and two HDMI to HDMI cable. Now, this is the YOLO box. It's actually smaller than my head. Before I turn it on, let's take a look around the box. On the shiny side is of course the touchscreen monitor, which is gathering more and more of my fingerprints. At the back is a rubber backing. I think it's to create friction so that it doesn't slide away easily. On top is a row of connectors starting with the HDMI input number one, HDMI input number two, a USB port, a HDMI output port, Ethernet port, audio input, and a USB-C port. On the other side, there is the audio output port, the SIM card holder, the quarter-inch screw hole, the SD card holder, and the power button, which I'm very eager to press. I'm going to press the power button and see what happens next. Ooh, that's the welcome page. And then I see it, a power indicator light. Yep, looks like it has power up. Now I see a time here on the top left. The battery power on the top right, 94%. So it's asking me to select a language. English is my language. Let's click on next. Okay, select a time zone. I am in Singapore. Singapore is not listed, so I'll select Shanghai, which is in the same time zone. Done. According to the user manual, 
I have to register and log in to my YOLO Live account. I tried that but it didn't work because the YOLO box is not connected to the internet. How to connect the YOLO box to the internet? It's not in the user manual. So I had to figure this out myself. Tap on the human icon on the top right hand corner. This will bring us to a menu page. Tap on the Wi-Fi option. Turn on Use Wi-Fi. Select your Wi-Fi network and key in my Wi-Fi password and tap on Connect. My Wi-Fi is now connected. Let's go back to register my YOLO Live account. I typed in my email again and then I get this message. Enter verification code. The verification code arrived in my email in less than one minute. And tap on Next. So now it's time to log in with my email and password. Now let's set up the first live stream. Tap on the plus icon. Give it a title. Then tap on Create. Next, tap on the menu icon. Select Facebook, add an account, log in to my Facebook account, tap continue as Adrian, tap on OK. Facebook success. Let's close this. Now let's connect YouTube. Tap on add account, sign in to my Google account, allow YOLO Live permission. YouTube successfully connected. Close. Back to the front page, I'm going to tap on the live stream that we just created. And it says searching. Swipe the tiny arrow on the left. I'm going to select YouTube, Facebook. All right, tap anywhere to close this window. It's time to attach the cameras. I have the HDMI cable connected to the Panasonic. The other end of the cable goes to the YOLO box. The HDMI input number one. The Sony cam is also connected with the HDMI cable and the other end goes to HDMI input number two. Now there, that's me on the screen. To switch between the two cameras, tap on the switch icon. So we have camera one and camera two. Now let's try picture in picture. Okay, still under the switch command A and B. That's the picture in picture. Let's select it. Choose the main picture. Okay, the main picture will be myself. Continue. Choose the sub picture. Choose this one. And apply. I can move this around to any position I want. And let's say I make it small, put it in this corner. And then when it's done, just click on the check mark. I can switch between the two just by double tapping. Okay, double tap again. I'm going to insert an SD card for recording. When I tap on the record button, it will tell me the available space on the SD card. Now I'm not going to record yet. Click on cancel. Next, I'm going to try the watermark feature. Select watermark template. And then it's got scoreboard, rolling captions, and material library. I'm going to select material library. I see two graphics, which I transferred to the SD card. Let's select them and tap on OK. OK, there you go. One of them is my name. Okay, I can resize it, place it anywhere I want. The other one is my logo. Okay, I'll put it on this corner, make it smaller. Squeeze it up there. All right. And now the final test for today. Let's stream to YouTube and Facebook simultaneously. Are you ready? Broadcast. How's that? We don't need a computer anymore or even other gears. 
This tiny guy is the stream encoder, the multicam switcher, the monitor, as well as the recorder. We just need to bring along our own cameras and microphones. If you like the video so far, click the thumbs up and share this video with your friends. What else would you like me to test on the YOLO box? Leave your comments and questions below. Otherwise, go to the link below and get your own portable live streaming studio. If you haven't done so, subscribe! This is Adrian Lee from Videolane.com. See you in the next one.